Hi everyone, this is Shayna from Kayuni Creations. Welcome back. I know this has been a while since I've been on, but things have just been so busy. So all my new subscribers, thank you, thank you. And for those who have been with me all this time, thank you as well for sticking around. Today I'm going to just do a quick flip through of um, four Easter junk journals that I did. These are plain, almost naked journals. So they're not really embellished or anything. It's really designed for the user to add their own touch and do what they want to do with it. So let's just get right into it. And you know, these are the four. We got this one here, the little bunny in the basket. Now he's playing his instrument, fixing his eggs. And of course, you've got this beautiful little fairy here. So I'm gonna do this one first. So like I said, these are all fabric covered. I try to go a little different, keeping the pastels of Easter and spring, but this is like a tie-dye fabric. Isn't that beautiful? Just look at that. So these cards here, these are vintage. Um, they're actually a bit part of a vintage banner that you can buy on Amazon. And this um, craft is inspired by Lyric Lover Crafts. She had some Christmas ones that she had used to make a, a different kind of journal on it. And I just thought they were so cute. I went on Amazon and I found them in the Easter theme. I did get the Christmas ones too, so look out for those to Christmas time. So that's what I put on the cover here. Now you've got these brads, they're different colors, all the spring pastel colors. You've got a little fairy here and a little egg carriage, but of course the bunny's pulling it. And of course we have our charms and beads and gems here. And I kind of pulled colors that were on the cover as well as, you know, the fabric. And I just love how these came out. Aren't those adorable? So we're going to go ahead and open this. Like I said, they are plain naked journals designed really for the user to use and add what they want to. So I have inside here and here we have a pocket on the cover. I'm just going to use this here. So this is a pocket there. This is cute. I love this paper here too. All right. More pockets in here. And of course I have a lot of these, um, cut apart and I didn't I just stuck them in there for you to you know use as you see it soft fit as you wish we have a corner tuck here I know I said it was plain but you know how that goes so we got these two kids playing here in springtime and that goes in here so egg struck <laughs> and look at this little girl decked up with her Easter basket and she is ready for the egg hunt like I said just plain colors I love this plaid this again is another tuck spot to the side. All right, another pocket. What if all your dreams came true? And again, plenty of space for you to journal, for you to decorate, for you to do whatever it is that you would want to do. It's just like an egg sticker. I got this little wooden bunny tucked away in this little pocket. It says dream. It's got all these little flowers coming out. And again, bloom. And this could be a tuck spot as well. Of course, you have this bunny covered paper. I have another wooden bunny here. And of course, the pockets. And I just thought this was pretty nice and bright. You can use whichever side you wanted to. And again, another tuck spot. Well, this is a, this way. You know, the craft paper, a few to write, have some stickers here. And just the lovely Easter pastel colored papers. You have a little bunny puff sticker there. And again, another tuck spot and a pocket It'll always be brave and strong look a little egg down here if you can see that i love the plaid again this is a beautiful piece of paper here we have two more tags if you want to use it as tags or not it's up to you and of course a little pocket here again plain paper for you to utilize you can cover it over you can write on it you can do as you wish you got a little duck in the middle here and we are at the end isn't that pretty that just screams spring and then i added so this is the banner um, this is the banner section i'm talking about I, I added this one in here if you want to make your own maybe if you're inspired by this you'd like to make your own and i'll probably have a tutorial later on pocket in here but it, i left this in here for the user okay and this is the first one it says happy easter on the cover the next one we have is this lovely one here. So he's got his little shop set up. We're getting ready to sell his eggs. <laughs> his little hut says, um, 
Is this colored Easter? I think. You can hardly see behind. Oh, probably colored Easter eggs. This is a recipe written here in the background there. And you've got like, the four brads again, fabric. And I kind of aged it, you know, with the ink just to get that vintage -y look. And of course, the ribbon to keep it together. And then we have the, these charms there. And these can be either out of the top or you can put them at the bottom. It's up to you. And again, I went with more earth tones, a little bit of green, and some reds and oranges to go with the cover. So that's what inspired those. But I just love these. These are adorable. And we go ahead and open this. And the ribbon threads through the spine so you won't lose it. But this is the full cover here. Again, it's another part of that vintage Easter banner that they're selling on Amazon. And I can get a link down there for, put a link down there for you. So we have the four brads here, like I said. Again, semi-naked, naked journal. This is lovely. It has like little foil centers in the flowers there. So we've got some more. These are all um, tuck spots. And of course, pockets. So we've got this one here. And again, you to, for you to use as you wish. And you are my sunshine. I love this here. It's just gold polka dots almost. Oh, what a beautiful day. So spring is here. That's not a pocket. And now we've got this. Um, it could be a tag if you wanted to or however you wanted to use it. It goes to the green on that side. And again, let your dreams blossom. And these look like three little mini tags if you wanted to cut them out. Again, beautiful paper. Plenty of space for you to write, to journal, to do whatever you wish. You have another tuck spot in here or an inverted pocket. Side tuck. The spring bouquet. And again, you have uh, beautiful pastel colors here. You have another pocket here and two journaling cards. All right, you can back them if you'd like with coffee paper or leave them as they are. And then we've got the center. I, I love this paper. I just do. And we have the other side, and again, just more pieces for you to play with. This is actually egg shaped, I didn't realize that before. And you know, you have a tag there. Again, more pastel colors. Got a little wooden bunny here. I think I bought these at Hobby Lobby. Inverted pocket. I love this paper, it coordinates with the craft. Another tuck spot. And we have this. Always be brave. This is like a side tuck. So plenty of room for you to play with. Add anything you wanted to. And we've got, I think each one of them may have two of these tags. All right. And we have the back here. I think I just glued this down so you can write on that. And again, they're painting a giant Easter egg. So I added another one of these banners in here for you. In case you wanted to, you know, make your own experiment. And we've got a pocket back here and then the back made with love just love these and i'm gonna go ahead and put my stamp here all right so this is the second one again if you wanted to see all right this one i absolutely love i went again with the same a different kind of tie-dye we have our charms here with wooden beans i love this red it goes with this little shirt you know, the gold brownish goes with the trombone. So I try to make the colors blend. The ribbon goes with the fabric at the back here. This is a different kind of tie-dye. They call it batik tie-dye, which I absolutely love. Now we've got Mr. Bunny up here play, playing away on his trombone. Or is it a horn? I'm not sure. And again, he's also got an Easter egg recipe here apparently behind him. So if you want to see the cover, I've got the four brads because the banners come with holes at the top i just use the brads and then i punch two more at the bottom here to balance it off so this is this one here so we go through I just love this marbled gold this is a, a tuck spot this is beautiful paper here continues on this side we've got a pocket we got this little guy he's ready for his easter hunt as well another side tuck and just look at this you can do so I don't know you got two in here okay I'll leave them we can plan on putting both in there but I maybe I put the other one at the back how about that let's do that all right so that's a beautiful piece of paper for you to work with 
and you got a strip here and then this strip of the side here it goes with the blue ribbon and the cover and everything uh, this again I love that and again this is a side tuck beautiful marble paper and then we just got the wooden egg there and again smile even inverted pocket pastel colors this is another tuck spot over here I know I said no embellishments or anything it was supposed to be a naked journal but you know how that goes the temptation is too much but we've got two tags here for you to make use of we got this little guy here and of course this beautiful red polka dot center got another one of those tags in here this is a side pocket there's two little kids running there having fun happy Easter and then you have a bouquet in a, in a pot inverted um, pocket it says today beautiful marble paper and craft paper must have flowers always and forever then we've got another pocket here with happy Easter and some more tags now we've got this little guy here so you see the two holes at the top here right so that's where they strung the ribbon through to hang the banner but again we always repurpose things here so you can use this in your journal if you wanted to now I'm gonna go ahead and stick this back in here since it was in here before I'm just going to yeah, we can stick it in here for now so this is this one here I guess I'm gonna have to name them or just number them but these are gonna be in my Etsy shop if you're looking for a last-minute gift we can get those over to you and then we have this final one here and again just look at these gems I just love these uh, beads right colored Easter eggs again so everybody's making some kind of a recipe and we have this green I chose this green ribbon because it goes with a green in his jacket and the leaves but he's supposed to be carrying the basket it looks as though he's sitting in it though <laughs> again this one has a little bit more of a vintagey cover so the brads are you know more of a brass color they're not shiny like the others I have a little lace trim down here right and of course we've got the back and we've aged the edges to make it look more vintage so let's flip through this one quickly so again we've got this marble paper again and in here we have a pocket again another pocket more tags bloom and remember Easter egg up here wooden Easter egg love that oh a little chick wooden chick and again more of these pastel colors uh, this is a tuck spot this time more pastel colors for the spring oh I love this purple and gold marble paper and then we've got like a few tags in here so it says beautiful just for you and for you and you can find a creative way to use it you know either this junk journal or another one that you're using and again more pastel colors like I said it's a naked journal I've just pasted that little flower there I love that flower All right just these little marbled gold strips again we have another pocket here it says happy easter and here are our tags what if all your dreams came true this beautiful marble center and you've got you know the beads so like i said the beads can go either down here below or above it all depends on how you want to do it all right love grows here so if you're doing a spring journal or you want to use this one here you could use all of these in here this is a pocket you can further decorate this if you wanted to lots of journaling space journaling space again just another tag here and we've got oh, some more of these okay so you can do quite a bit with this thanks just for you and beautiful marble I love this lavender and gold marble technique with this foil gold paper I love that it goes well with this lavender on this side or purple and then we got lavender and pink more pastels more tags and again you can back these with coffee paper if you want to just leave it like that that's the back and then we're back to the gold and pinkish marble and then I put this one in here again for you to play with an experiment it's a little kids <laughs> a basket full of eggs 
And here's the chicks looking up in wonder as what's going on. So this is the last one here. So guys, I enjoyed making these. I think that they are adorable. It's a good way, you know, to use a product, like namely the banner, in a different way. You basically have repurposed them. And you know, these are meant to leave room for you to be creative and for you to, you know, finish it how you want it to. And then I've added some little goodies in there just to help you along the way. So we've got this one here. Maybe bunny in a basket, I'll call that one. <laughs> And then this one here is the bunny playing. It's a little trombone instrument. So I'm gonna go ahead and tie these back. And you can hold them together. Eventually they'll flatten out and stay closed as you use them or store them on a shelf. And for now we'll use the ribbons to keep them together. And again, just if you wanna have a last look at that, I've got this one here, right? Market day, maybe your Easter sale. I'll probably name this one. I don't know. We'll see. Y'all can help me out with what to name them. So I, try, I like to even up the ribbons. And like I said, I've threaded the ribbon through the spine here so they won't fall out and you won't lose it. And you can either use the ribbon or not use it. So if you want to remove it, you can do that too. And eventually they'll flatten out. So we're just um, putting them back together. And then this one, this is the bright pastel one, with a little fairy in front. <laughs> so I'm going to get the ribbons even, and then just tie it in a bow. And that's it. You know, if you've sat through this here, thank you for flipping through with me. Please don't forget to subscribe, and you can also find me on Pinterest, Instagram, and my website, and of course my Etsy shop where these will be listed. If you're looking for a quick last minute gift, um, you know, this one is more like for a girl, if you'd like, or a woman, it's up to you. I would definitely use this, you know, and then we've got these here. So if you know someone who would like these little journals and want to play and do their own thing in it, these are perfect for that. I guess I can spread these out so you can see them. All right, now once again, thank you for joining me. Until next time, you guys have a blessed day. Bye.